terrible dream. Dreamed I had, uh, I dreamed I had a terrible girlfriend, and uh, but I didn't know it because um, she's all happy that I would uh, do things for her, and buy things for her, and take her places. I was always thinking about her. I'd uh, write her notes and uh, leave her secret gifts. And, um, you know, I was uh, I was so in love and. Uh, Dream. I took her to a, uh, a party, and there was a lot of her friends and work acquaintances. And uh, but there was a few people there that I knew and really liked. And, uh, she says, oh, "I'll help in the kitchen." And I'm like, "I'll go. Uh, I'll go see what's happening at the pool." And uh, so I was playing games and enjoying people. And there's, I could tell there were some people there that genuinely, genuinely enjoyed my company. And every once in a while I'd go check on my girlfriend, make sure she was, uh, you know, okay, and, you know, bring her a drink, let her know that I brought her, uh, her bag in from the car, so her bathing suit was uh, by the pool, which she wanted to change. I, I came to the realization that, to me, she was, she was kind and loving, um, but when I was away, she was telling everybody how dissatisfied she was with me. Became, became more and more apparent that uh, she was two-faced, and uh, I was, uh, and people were, uh, were regretting every example of love that I would not, that I would not give her. Um, then there was another woman in the party, and she, uh, I said, that when I found out, when I came to the realization that uh, my girlfriend actually didn't uh, respect me. I decided to leave, and uh, there was this girl at the party. Said, "Oh, you're leaving?" But you know, like I had so much fun, uh, you know, playing that pool game with you. I thought you were going to stay, and we were going to watch. Uh, you know, we're going to do this another. There's another game with watching a movie, and she was trying to explain it to me. And I was thinking, well, yeah, that would be nice to have uh, a friend uh, to, to meet a new friend and um, to be comforted by friendship. But now's not the time, you know, right now I'm feeling uh, miserable. And uh, so I started to leave and I uh, got my bicycle. And uh, another guy met me on the porch and he's like, hey, you want to hang out on the porch and, you know, drink beer and uh, smoke cigarettes and you know, smoke your pipe? And I'm like, no, I don't, I still, I can't, I don't have the energy for, for friends right now. I feel so, uh, I feel so betrayed. And I started riding my bike away, and I realized I didn't know where I lived. Uh, it's not that I was like lost, because I was in Portland, and I recognized it. It was like I didn't know where uh, where I slept. And I was thinking about my family. I'm like, am I staying with any of my family? And I started riding towards my nearest family's house to ask them what was going on. I thought, well, it's weird that I don't know where I live and I don't want to show up at my family's house telling them I don't, I don't know where I live. And, um, I thought, well, maybe I could call somebody on the phone. And I, I found my brother's phone number on my phone and I was like, well, maybe I could call my brother and he could help me, and I thought, well, then I have to explain why I don't know where I live. And, like, maybe I could tell him that maybe somebody at the party drugged me. And then I thought, well, maybe somebody at the party did drug me. Because I'm pretty disturbed right now. And I got so upset, I, uh, I partially woke up, put my hand out, and I touched the wall of the tiny house, a rough, rough cedar wood. And I realized, oh, I live in the tiny house. Oh, it was so good to go back there. You know, like, I feel safe and protected, and uh, I've got a kila, and uh, I know I'll feel, know I'll feel loved.